Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And today's topic is about how to find presence of numbers or non-alphabets in a character variable easily in SAS. In here, we are going to explain all of these through examples. And in here, it is my first example wherein I have one variable var and we have four observations. In first two observations, there is no number, but in the second two observations, we have numbers. Our goal is to identify these two observations. And this can be easily done with the help of any digit function. Any digit function, what it gives is, it gives the position of first occurrence of digit. And in here, one important thing to remember before going to details is, here we are trying to find any number, not a specific number. If it is a specific number, we can use something like a find function. But when we want to find any digit, we need to use any digit function. Now, let me quickly run this step along with any digit function, wherein I'm using this data set and also this variable. And also let me proc print I am creating in here and once I run this code you will see the results in here and the first two observations we see the value is 0 this indicates that there is no number in here whereas in the case of third and fourth observations we have 5 and 1 as value this indicates that in the third observation the digit is starting at fifth position or rather I would say the first occurrence and in the last observation the digit starts at first position so by using this logic we can write something like if the position is greater than zero then we are going to have these two observations or we can capture these two observations in a data set and I have written the code for the same in the next step and I am also doing the proc print for the same in here, instead of creating a new variable and then capturing this value, all we can do is we can write if any digit var greater than zero. This will give me observations wherein there are digits. Now let us quickly run this code and we are also doing the proc print for the above code. And in the result, you can see that we are able to find observations which have numbers now let us look into the another category that is finding any value other than alphabets and let us try to understand this through an example in here we have data set and in this data set we have one variable var and we have four observations and if you look into second observation and fourth observation we have some characters which are not alphabets and our goal is to find when we have those special characters. To do this, it is super simple and we need to use a function known as not alpha. Not alpha function gives the position of first occurrence of non-alphabet. And let's try to use that function on this variable var and we use this data set. So in the set I have set new underscore test and then I'm using not alpha. And if you quickly look into here, I'm also using a trim function. It is very important to understand why I'm using a trim function in here. If you see in here, I have defined the length of variable var as 20. And if you look into the Charles John, the length is 11. Or it does not matter how long it is, but it is lesser than 20. So what will happen is it will be padded with spaces till it becomes 20. So in this case, we have nine spaces. And if you are not going to use trim, what will happen is it will find or our not alpha function will find the space and it will say that not alpha character is present at 12th position and we do not want that. When we use trim, what it does is it removes all the spaces and then we just have Charles Sean in here and we can apply our not alpha function very nicely. 
So whenever we use not alpha function, remember that we need to do a trim. In here, what I am doing in the next step is I am creating a new variable and I am using a not alpha function on this variable and I am using this data set in here and I am capturing to find where is the first occurrence of non-alphabet. That is what our not alpha function does in here. And let us quickly run these three steps. The first one is creating data set. Second one is just finding out whether there is a not alpha in here. And the third one is proc printing the data set which we have created in here. Once I run this, what we can see is, we can see in the case of second and fourth observation, we have something other than not alpha at sixth position in the case of second observation and second position in the case of fourth observation. And now we can use this logic to find out these two observations wherein we have characters which are not alphabets. And we can simply do that with the help of a simple if statement. All we need to do is we need to say if not alpha trim var greater than zero. So we will find those observations wherein we have anything other than alpha greater than zero means second and fourth observation. Now let us quickly run this step and followed by a proc print. And once we run these two steps, you can see that we were able to find two observations which have other characters other than alpha or alphabets. Now, before concluding this topic, I would like to comment something in here. There are many other functions for any, like any upper, any lower, any space, any print, any punct, etc. And also they have their counterparts for not functions like not lower, not space, not digit, not CNTRL and many others. These functions are very important, especially related to data quality because these functions help us to find any characters absence or presence in the data. That's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.